Giants linebacker Mark Herzlick has overcome plenty in his tough road to the NFL. Herzlick, of course, was a star at Boston College before discovering he had Ewing sarcoma, a rare form of bone cancer. Herzlick's book, What It Takes, takes us through his struggle of beating the odds in a disease to realize his NFL dreams. We are happy to have him in studio to talk about the book and the Giants as Anthony and Pat will rejoin us in the next segment. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. This is a pleasure. Thanks for having me on. All right, it's great for us. Did you write this book so it could serve as a form of inspiration? You're already so inspiring. Did you write the book so it could continue to, to uh, serve as a form of inspiration? Yeah, that, and that's the reason. So I had so much help um, when I was battling cancer uh, through other people supporting me. And I drew inspiration from other stories. And this was a way for me to respond to all the letters of people asking for my story to be shared with them. And the response I've gotten is just overwhelming, whether it's a cancer diagnosis or a loss of a job. People put themselves into this story and say, you know, I can beat this adversity. I can take that next step and I can still fulfill my dreams. You know, it was a fascinating read. Right from the intro, you had me in there. You know, you're sitting in the doctor's office and you see the four doctors come in. At that point, you're on top of the world, ACC Defensive Player of the Year, getting ready to be drafted in the NFL. Then you hear the bad news. Give me the lowest point, the toughest point that you had dealing with the cancer and then coming back. Gosh, the toughest point, it was interesting. Two days before, one of the best days, you know, so college game day came to Boston College and I was able to announce I was cancer free, but two days before that, my blood counts were low. I couldn't get out of bed. I remember calling my mom saying, Mom, this might be it. And we were so scared at that point, but what happened was, you know, we got such a, a boost from college game day coming and being able to share my story and getting a lot of people around me with support. And it, it was hard, radiation, chemotherapy, surgery, just fighting back to live. But then coming back and being able to play football was a blessing and a dream come true. And you're realizing that dream, of course, with the Giants. Let's talk a little Giants football. Mm -hmm. Training camps in two weeks, believe it or not. Uh, any worry about Eli learning that new offense? And do you think he can handle it better than many than many other people would? Because he deals with criticism so well, and that can come with a new offense. <laughs> yeah, sure. Eli gets tons of criticism, and he knows how to deal with it. But you know, I, I think that Eli's going to have no trouble. I mean, you saw it already in mini camps and in OTAs. He is conducting every single play. Um, they're not stopping the play to have a coach come in and, and correct things. Eli's doing that on his own. And so you know, I really think that he's going to take leaps and bounds forward with this offense. Mark, how about on that defense? You know, Justin Tuck's been the leader for so long. No more Tuck on that defense. How's that going to change things for you guys? It's going to change a lot. I mean, Justin is, was a, he was a staple with the Giants. But the, what happens is great leaders come and go. And, you know, we have more leaders stepping up. And, you know, Beeson filled a big role uh, in that leadership last year. Um, and so we're going to have guys keep on making those steps forward. And, you know, Giants fans are going to be really excited to watch uh, Dominic Rogers Cromartie run because I saw him run in uh, OTAs, and he is fast. That guy can move. <laughs> making that secondary better. Tom Coughlin wrote the forward of your book. Why would you have him do it? And I know there's a good story, and you were had a little trouble with the timing of when to ask uh, him to write the forward. Exactly. So... You know, he said, first of all, um, I said, you know, who do I want to write this? And it was Coach Kaufman. He is such an inspiration every single morning for me and for our team. And it was about time to ask him around week two. Well, we lost week one, and then we <laughs> lost week two. And I was like, okay, well, I can't ask him now. I'll just wait till next week. And it's three, four, five, uh, six. And I'm like, we got to get this done. So we you know, <laughs> finally won week seven, and I was able to ask him then. But... You know, he said, of course, you know, Mark, you should have come to me anytime. He's that type of guy. He is all about his players and all about the team. The book is what it takes. Mark Herzlick, thank you so much for stopping by. Please come back anytime. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.